Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to import journal entries in QuickBooks. Let's begin. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in QuickBooks, just find a plan that's right for you. And from here, all you have to do is just follow the on-screen instructions and you are all set okay so once you are here importing journal entries into quickbooks can be useful for a lot of reasons because number one if you have or dealing with a large number of journal entries to input manually entering each one can be time consuming right importing them allows you to save time and effort by entering multiple entries at once because manual data entry is prone to errors such as typos or transposed numbers importing journal entries reduces the risk of errors by directly transferring data from another source such as spreadsheet or another accounting system now for us to be able to do it all you have to do is go to the upper right corner of your account to the cog icon setting and from here click on the tools and import data and from here as you can see you can bring your data here into bank data customer suppliers chart of accounts products and services invoices and bills and of course what we need to do here is select journal entries And from here, you can select a CSV or an Excel file to upload. But if you are not sure on the file format, you might want to click on download a sample file. All right. Click on it. Once you have downloaded and uploaded the Excel file, just click on next in the uh, bottom right corner. Click on it. And of course, make sure all the entries and the fields are aligned. All right. This is very good if you are transitioning from another accounting system to QuickBooks because importing journal entries allow you to seamlessly transfer historical data without having to manually recreate each entry. Now, after that, all you have to do is click on next. All right. Make sure all the information here are correct. And it's a part of the automated workflow where data from other systems or sources is automatically imported to QuickBooks. Of course, that streamlines the accounting process. And from here, just click on import. All right. And once you've done that, I believe that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next one.